So Dream Machine by Luma Labs honestly might be one of the funnest AI video tools you can use right now. And I'm gonna show you five incredible ways that you can use Dream Machine that are going to entirely change your AI workflow. From creating the world's first HDR AI videos to reframing your videos to any aspect ratio and even completely modifying your existing videos to be anything you want. And you might not believe it, but all of these videos that you've been seeing are all AI and took under a minute to make. Now I wanna give a special thanks to Luma Labs for partnering with me in this video. So Dream Machine has had a bunch of crazy updates in the last few weeks, which is why I'm making this video. And one of the biggest ones is the ability to create HDR AI videos, and they look absolutely incredible. Just take a look at these. What do you see? When we talk about reality, how do you know what is real? And to make these videos, it's incredibly simple. All you have to do is head over to Dream Machine. The link will be in the description down below. But from here, you just wanna go ahead and click on this plus button. Now from here, you wanna make sure to change your model to Ray Free. So we're gonna select down here, then on Describe, you'll see if you've got Ray. So you wanna select Ray Free or the Ray Free Reasoning Model. But because we're just gonna be using a simple prompt, we're gonna go with Ray Free. Now you'll be able to change your aspect ratio, so nine by 16, all the way to 21 by nine. But we're just gonna select 16 by nine. You also have the option to change your resolution. If you want a quick video, then you can use a draft, but we're just gonna leave it to 1080p. And then here you also have the option to have it as SDR or HDR. Now, because this is a new model, we're gonna go ahead and select HDR. You will also see you have the option to create either one or two different video variations. So let's go ahead and enter in our prompt. So we're gonna start with man wearing a superhero costume standing on the edge of a tall building at golden hour. So if we go ahead and hit generate, you'll see that that starts to dream out our video. Now, while we wait for this, I wanna show you a few other options you have inside of Ray Free. So let's go ahead and click on keyframes, which is the other method. So here you'll actually be able to add your own images. So it will create videos based off those images. You can start with just one frame, but if you have a specific idea in mind, you could add a start and an end frame. So we're gonna go ahead and import some images. So here you can see I've got two different images, one of me holding a bag of Cheetos and the other one I'm eating. So we're gonna start with the first frame to be this one. Then we're gonna leave the prompt completely empty and then hit generate. But then we're gonna go ahead and click on keyframes again. But this time we're going to use this start frame and then we're gonna be using this end frame. So we're gonna go ahead and import that. And again, you can add a quick prompt if you want. So let's go with man eating some Cheetos. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on generate. And you'll see at the top, our first videos are almost ready. You can see that we're getting a little bit of a preview of what that looks like. Now, while we wait for those to load, I wanna quickly mention, if you're new to AI and want to actually use all the best tools to create content for your brand, or you just wanna stay ahead of the curve, then be sure to check out my AI community down below. With all that said, let's go ahead and check out these videos. So here you can see we've got the first two videos. So let's go ahead and give these a quick look. So this one you can see looks really cool and we've got some really cool camera motions as well. And then this second one, I think already stands out straight away because you can really tell by its HDR video, but these look absolutely amazing. Now, the thing I love about Dream Machine is that it's super intuitive, meaning that if you want to make any changes to your video, you can. So when you click on a video, you'll notice that you have a few more options down here. You can go ahead and click on modify, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in this video because it's really awesome. But you can of course extend your videos an additional five seconds, which is really nice to have. If you wanted another variation of this video, you can just click on this and you'll see that it then creates another variation just like that. But by far one of the coolest features that I love is the reframe option. I'm gonna talk about that in more detail in just a moment. But then we also have upscaling. So if you wanna bring this into an even higher resolution, you can just click on this button and it's gonna do it. And you can also add all Audio to your video, which is really awesome. Now quickly coming back to the reframe option, you see if we click on this, it's gonna bring it into this new tab. Now you can go ahead and describe what you want to add if you want, and you can of course change your aspect ratio like this. But the really awesome part about this is if you go ahead and click on preview, you don't have to type in any prompts, and it's gonna give you four different variations that you can preview from, which are essentially gonna be the start frame of this video. If you like one of these generations that it's given you, you can go ahead and click on apply. Now this only takes about 10 seconds to generate and you can see now that it's finished loading. So here we've got the first one, the second one, third one and fourth one. I think we're gonna go for this one because it really makes the sky pop. 
and the building looks pretty nice. We're gonna go ahead and click on apply. Now from here, you can just go ahead and click on generate and then boom, you've got your 16 by nine video now reframed into a nine by 16 video. Now, if we head back to the main feed, you can see that our two new variations are already loading and this one right here in particular looks awesome. I can't wait for this to finish loading. But if we scroll down a little bit and start to have a look at our keyframe videos, you can see here that if you remember that this is just this one image of me holding a bag of Cheetos and these are the two videos that it's generated. So it's done an incredible job. If we scroll down a little bit further, we can now see that we've got our keyframes one. So this was with the bag of chips closed and then me eating one. And here you can see that the transitions look really smooth. I'll put a quick side by side with just the one keyframe and then with both keyframes so you can have a quick look at what that looks like but it's not really necessary unless you have a specific vision in mind because you can see that the one with the one keyframe looks really good. Now if you remember how I said Dream Machine is just super intuitive with making changes to your videos, if we scroll all the way to the top we can have a quick preview at these two new videos that they've rendered and this one does look absolutely incredible but let's say I wanted to create another variation of this, but I have no idea, I've got no inspiration. You actually notice in the prompt right here, we have a few boxes that we can select. So let's say I wanted to change this to steampunk armor. I can go ahead and click on that, and then you'll see that it's now going to start generating some new variations just like that. You could change it to midnight with moonlighting. You could change the lighting to any of these. You can even change the buildings to an industrial crane or something like that. So it's really giving you the flexibility to you make as many changes as you want and it's going to really help you guide you do this rather than letting you figuring it out by yourself. Okay so now let's go ahead and move on to one of my other favorite features inside of Dream Machine which is Modify Video. Now Modify Video is incredible because it basically captures your full body motion, your facial expressions and even the lip syncs from your driving video. So here's how to use it. So I'll start by heading over to your settings and then you want to click on Modify. Now from here you'll be able to upload an image or a video but we're going to upload a video which is this one right here so it's a little bit of a car chase in the Sahara Desert and we're actually going to go ahead and completely restyle this and this is where it gets pretty crazy because you have a bunch of different options on how you can use this the first one is just by describing it with simple English so for example let's say we want to change it to make it a snowy desert but during golden hour lighting now before you hit generate because you can just go ahead and hit generate I recommend and checking the strength right here because here you'll see you have nine different options. So the first one is adhere which basically closely follows the original video's look and structure and it mainly prioritizes on retexturing and here you can see you've got three different options of adhere so go ahead and have a quick look through those. Then you've got flex so flex focuses on balancing the model's creativity with the input fidelity so it's perfect for more controlled transformations while preserving all the key elements and again you have three other options to pick from inside of Flex. Then finally, we have Reimagine. So this one prioritizes the creative freedom, enabling you to fully interpret the scene however you want. And it also remaps for humans and creates them into more non-human-like monsters or aliens, stuff like that. So kind of putting you in a new reality. And of course, the nice thing here is you don't have to kind of imagine this yourself because Dream Machine is showing you visual representations of what all of these styles look like. So let's go ahead and use the flex option because we do want to keep the integrity of the video. But we do also want to see what it looks like with a little bit of extra style. So while that loads, we're also going to bring this video back in. But this time you have your start and end frame. So start frame is pretty simple. You will actually have to go ahead and recreate your frame. Now if you want to quickly get the start frame of this video, you can just go ahead and click here and then you'll see you have a start frame download button. Then you can go ahead and bring this into Photoshop or Nano Banana so then you can completely redesign how you want it to look. Once you have that ready, you can then just import that into the start frame. However, Dream Machine has also thought about this and you can just click on modify frame. So this is going to basically take that first frame right here and then we can describe the changes. So for instance, let's say make it a neon like desert race, something like that. We'll hit on generate and then you'll see it's gonna start creating a new first frame for us. 
And here we have it, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and click on apply. Again, you can go ahead and add a prompt if you wanna describe it even further. But this time, we're going to bring the string all the way up to the top, so it's gonna completely reimagine it. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit on generate. So let's go ahead and scroll up to see if our first video has generated, which it has. So let's give it a quick look. And boom, that looks pretty crazy. We'll also put the original video side by side so you can compare. But you'll notice that even inside of modify video, you still have the option to easily change stuff. So you could change this to an icy canyon or you could change the lighting again to make it something completely different. And if you have absolutely no idea, Dream Machine has thought of it and you click on brainstorm and you'll see that it actually starts to load out a bunch of other variations that you can go with. So let's go ahead and click on this one. And here you can see we've got a prompt for that. So we can go ahead and reload this video and then we'll go back on here we'll select that and then boom we can do that now we scroll down a little further we can see that we have our second video so if you remember it created this start frame which you can see on screen right here and then this is the video that it's done from there which looks pretty cool and here we have the latest video that used the brainstorm method now we do have one final way that we can use modified video which i think is absolutely brilliant so let's go ahead and choose a different video so we can drag this one in right here and let's say you have no idea what you want to do but you just want to do something a little bit different you can go ahead and click on the suggestions here and this is going to break it down by your shots your camera angles your style and your lighting and you can select as many as you want so let's go with establishing shot then we can keep the camera angle low and then we can go to a 3d animation and pixel art because why not um, and everyone loves a bit of golden hour so we can add that in you can of course make your prompt a little bit more coherent but let's just go ahead and wing it let's check the strength let's make it this level and then let's go ahead and click on generate now, if you need a little bit of creativity with Modify Video, Dream Machine do have a blog which basically gives you a bunch of examples on how you can use this. And some of these are absolutely incredible. Here you've got this guy with an ice picker and he's just completely restyled it into a Viking village and him as a Viking. Then you've got some really creative ones with like this, which then turned into the boat, which is crazy. And then you can restyle you shooting hoops in an actual stadium. You could be surfing on a hoverboard, even turn yourself into a mermaid made or an owl which looks absolutely crazy there's some really fantastic ideas in here um so i definitely recommend checking this out because it's absolutely amazing just to see what is actually capable inside of dream machine like this one i loved where you just transform yourself you know walking on a tightrope in the grand canyon or something like that and then here we're turning ourselves into a video game which looks crazy now again i want to reiterate that you can literally modify whatever you want you can let your imagination run wild with this as you saw from these examples is absolutely crazy and you can then create other variations from that video so then you can create some really cool transitions and don't forget that dream machine gives you some incredible tools like reframing your videos so you can fit any aspect ratio for any platform which i think is a super underrated feature that like i use this all the time because now i can take my 16 by 9 videos and just turn them into 9 by 16 which is crazy and again you can upscale your videos inside of dream machine into hdr which is awesome and if you want to add audio you can import any video and then describe what you want and then it will try and recreate audio for that video now i hope you guys did enjoy this video and be sure to check out dream machine because they really leveled it up with ray free and modify video and it's all natural language now which is absolutely amazing they've just taken the entire guessing work out of it so now you can basically let your imagination run wild and again if you want to actually master all the best ai tools then be sure to check out my ai community down below i'll see you in the next one